In this video, we're going to be looking at power values in our series RC circuit. Okay. Last video, we figured out our currents and our voltage drops. Right? Series circuit, the current is same everywhere and in phase. That's why it will be my reference line. It's capacitive. So my voltage, my total voltage, will be hanging back behind the current. Current is referenced here. Total voltage will be back. Capacitive voltage is out 90 degrees, pointing straight down. Resistive voltage in phase. And the resultant total voltage, the applied voltage, will be hanging behind. We figured it was somewhere in the 30 degree range. We're gonna figure that out here too. Power values. I can use Ohm's law, just like we did on RL circuits. So, easiest way is amps times volts, right? You could use any of your Ohm's law values. We have ohms, amps, and volts on each part of the circuit. So let's figure these out. And that's what we get. Again, my apparent power is volt amps. It's what I put into the circuit. The real work is done by my true power, 2304 watts. And the reactive power, the storing and releasing and storing and releasing of the capacitor comes to 1728 VARPs. So let's put them in their, in their places where they go on the power triangle. True power, because it's a resistive value, goes on the horizontal line, as with all resistive values. The reactive component will go on the vertical. Reactive components always on the vertical. And I put the C there just to define it as capacitive. Again, not important when I have resistive capacitive, but once we mix up in AC4, we mix up capacitors and inductors, then we gotta know whose power is whose. And the VA the total circuit values always are represented by the hypotenuse. Volt amps. Okay. Next item on our list, power factor. Remember that's the efficiency ratio, how much real work is getting done for what I'm putting into it. And that's gonna be watts divided by VA. Let's plug in the numbers. And what do we get? You would get 0.8, which is the same as 80%. So 80% of what I'm putting into this circuit is doing real work for me. The other, getting bounced around, stored, chucked out, stored, chucked out. And you know what we'll notice is this is just like the RL circuits. Could I have got that from any number of this side, the horizontal, with over its corresponding hypotenuse value? Four divided by five is 0.8. 96 divided by 120, 0.8. 2304 divided by 2880, 0.8. So I could get my power factor, just a reminder, I could get my power factor with R divided by Z in my series circuits. The last thing we want to figure out is this angle theta. So by how many degrees does this total voltage hang back from the current? And I'm going to add something on here. I'm going to write the current as my reference. Okay, So that's where the current is. This is total voltage. Again, capacitive voltage, 90 degrees out with current. Resistive voltage, in phase with it. But the total voltage back at the source, because there is more resistance here than there is capacitance, it's less than 45 degrees. It's favoring the resistive side. 
But how do we get that angle? If you just hit the cosine button on your calculator and a number, that would be the angle, and you would get the ratio between the sides. But we know the ratio. We know it's 4 over 5, or 96 over 120, or watts over VA. We know the ratio, so we have to do the second function. Second function cosine, and you'll get something looking like this, cosine negative 1 with the open parentheses. And you can put the ratio, any of these three ratios. Or we know that ratio to be 80%, which is 0.8. Cosine negative 1, right, 0 0.8, or like I said, you can put a, a, a division problem in there. And what do we end up with? Plug it in. This angle is 36.9 degrees. And there we have it. In this circuit, the total voltage lags behind the circuit current by 36.9 degrees giving it a power factor, an efficiency ratio, if you will, of 80%.